Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, you know, there's topics we have to repeat them again and again because always we receive uh, questions mostly about the same thing. But always there's something new to learn. Uh, somebody sent me an article saying uh, that there is a, I mean, a lot of a claim about how consistent the Quran with science and we have to admit I mean the Quran is full of science I mean who can deny that I mean you cannot you have, you have to be crazy to deny that the Quran is a book of science you know first of all the idea of uh, science and religion I believe whoever tried to play with it is stupid and I will tell you why do the Muslim believe in the same as the Christian believe that Jesus was the son of a virgin the answer yes okay how that is consistent with science you know what I mean in order to be Christian you have to believe that this is a miracle it's not consistent with science science doesn't say a woman she will have a child without a man as simple as that So when somebody says such a thing, either he is a stupid or he is a stupid. It doesn't matter what religion you belong to. Correct? So either you are a person who believes in science only, or you are a believer. The second you say, I am a believer, it doesn't matter what religion you are, then science, you put it in the, in the pocket. Because there's many things science first cannot explain. Even scientists, they can call it miracles. As an example, somebody is healed from cancer. When doctors cannot understand why, they say it's a miracle. The word miracle is happened all like used by scientists, not only by believers. Why? Because when something happened, nobody can explain. We call it miracle. So science cannot explain miracles. And belief is not about science. So when the Muslims they try to imply science in their book, not only they destroy their religion, but they give us a topic to laugh at. Uh, somebody saying, can you explain why the earth in Isaiah have four corners? My friend, until now, this is a figure of speech. If you go to Maryam Dictionary, you will, you will find that this is used until now. It says the four corners of the earth. How, however, as long as you are a Muslim, are you consistent with your question? Are you consistent with your question, Almighty? Or you are just a person making question? Because I can show you that it is the Quran who says the earth have edges. And then what you will do? You will deny your Quran? What exactly will happen? What you will do? For some reason, my browser stopped working. Uh oh. I hope we will not lose connection. All right. So, when a Muslim he asks a question, I found mostly Muslims when they ask questions, they are not really asking questions to get the answer. They are copy paste. Four corners of the earth. Well, the Bible says that the earth is a shape of a sphere, so how it have a corner? So if you have a knowledge of the Bible, you will know that the Bible is saying clearly that the earth is like a bowl. So how that can have a corner? Have you ever heard of a bowl have a corner? But because Muslims, they are trained to attack Christianity, but they're trained from a foolish master. His name is Muhammad. So their attack always is a foolish and funny. Now, if we go, as long as you are the one who mentioned, my own Bible, you prove it. Here we go. You see, I just answer you, and now I will show you that what you claimed is exist in your book, not in my book. If I show you right now that it is the Quran who says that the earth have corners, what you would do? Literally. What you would do? You would deny it, right? You would say, it doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> Let us go to the Quran so we can laugh together. You know, talk is cheap. But 
proving things is a different story. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to this stupid browser. It's froze and we can need to force it to close and reopen it again. Okay, let us do that. Oh boy, we lost all the articles I wanted to show you from the Muslims now. But no problem. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm just trying to reopen the browsers. Those are articles written by Muslims, and now our browser crashed. So I'm trying to open it. Okay, let's see this one first. Okay. It must be one of the Muslim websites. They have a script, and that froze down. Uh, the page. Um. All right, we opened some of them already, and we will go back to the challenge uh, uh, Muhammad and he just made. Let us open the last one. So people can laugh with us. It's a comedy, you know. You know what comedy mean? It's literally a comedy. And now, when we show this uh, uh, Muhammadan that it is his religion who believe that the earth have corners, what he will do? What do you think he will do? He would deny it. Let us go to the Quran. This is your Quran. And Almighty, if you have the courage and the knowledge, I will open my Skype just for you so you can call me and read the verse and explain to me how a God, his name is Allah, he said the following. Let us see. Is that your Quran? Saying that the earth have edges? Or it's me? Chapter 13, verse number 41. Where is Mr. Almighty? Is that your Quran saying that the earth has edges? Are you there? So what the Muslims accused you with, it's what they have, not what we have. Our book is the one who says the earth is like a sphere or a globe. Our book is the one saying the earth is hanged on nothing. Not like the Quran, saying it hanged on pillars which you cannot see. Hanged on pillars which you cannot see. Any Muslim? No. As long as the, the guy who was a hero he went now to bed because he disappeared and he don't want to say any comment no more. You know, maybe he is chasing Corona now. You know, he start coughing. We say to himself, oh boy, I wish I did not ask the question. Why does Islam, Isaiah say the earth is a flat? Wait, show me where it says the earth is a flat. You see, I just, you know, just to show you the stupidity. If the Bible says that the earth is like a globe, how the earth can be flat? 
And if you are a Muslim, it is your book who say the earth is a flat. Do you dare to call me? And I will show you tons of verses in the Quran about the earth is a flat. What do you think? Let us go and see some. This is your Quran. The Bible says the earth has edges. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Just to show you the stupidity. Just to show you the amazing stupidity of those who defend Islam. Hold on. Guys, do you see the word also? Did you see the word also? So this guy, he was saying the Bible have mistakes, and now he agreed that also the Quran. By using also, that means you are saying both have the same thing. Thank you very much. You just proved to us that you are a stupid fool. Because supposedly you are defending Islam, not agreeing. But you now you agreed. Now I showed you that this is a lie. And I showed you that you Muslims are the one who believe. Let us go and see. The earth is, is, the earth is a flat in the Quran. The mountains, Allah, he placed it in the top of the flat earth, so the earth will not move. Shall we go? Let us go. Once upon the time, there's a guy, he's a kid, you know, he wanted to debate me, and he wanted to prove me wrong. So he made a video, and he said, the Quran says, brother, that the earth is in the shape of an egg. And then the Muslim, they start copying this guy video, even those who call themselves big shakes. Let me find the videos. <laughs> uh, just to show you how easy, how easy to fabricate a thing made by a kid and the rest they follow. Even even the one who claimed to be a scholar like Zach and Naik. I mean, how stupid those people are. Shabir Ali, Shish Kebab, Hummus, all of them, they are copying a kid. He was trying to refute me. How? It's a miracle, brother. This is Shabir, uh, this is Zach and Naik. Is it really the earth in the shape of the egg and the Quran says that? Where it says that? Where it says that? Any Muslim can show me? I will show you the verse. So we can laugh together. We go to the Quran, and you will see how the Muslims, they have no shame to fabricate a word is not exist in the Quran. And not only that, they change the word from the word is saying he made it a flat. They make it an egg. Can you believe it? It must be a flat egg. Well, Ardu Bada Darika Dahaha. This is the chapter, chapter 79, verse number 30. You watch the videos, you will see they are talking about this chapter. But this verse saying, Allah, he made the earth is a flat. You see here they are translating saying, and after that he spread the earth, he spread. She's an egg or a spread. And the translation is false. The haha, if we go right now to the dictionary, you will see that the word the haha mean a flat. Change the translator. Actually, why why want to change the translator? Just let us go and see the, the interpretation for the verse, shall we? I mean, who who is going to know what the verse mean more than Muhammad and his uh, biggest scholars? Not a Christian prince. Chapter 79, verse number 30. I will go to the interpretation. Here we go. And then everybody will start laughing. <clears throat> In a second, you will see how the, 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 the flat earth became an egg in a video. And then all those who claim to be scholars in Islam, like Zakir Naik, they copy a kid in YouTube trying to refute a Christian prince, fabricating something that does not exist in the Quran. Read carefully. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Anyone see the word egg? I mean, why even the Muslim translation doesn't say the word egg? Not a single Muslim translation saying egg, but you, you, the one who made the video, the kid. And then Zakir Naik did that. I mean, copy-paste people. What a stupid idiots.
Can't you open the dictionary for a second and you will see it says he made it flat? And after that, he spread out the earth and he made it flat. Do you see it? This is the official government website of the King of Jordan, who he claimed that he is from the children of Muhammad, which is funny. And that explained why he's corrupt. Hmm. Anyone want to explain to us why the Quran says such a thing? Actually, Muhammad, he confirmed that in the hadith, where he said that Allah, he come down every day in the third part of the night. How Muhammad can, how Allah can do that? You tell me. How many times zoom we have in this earth? Because if Allah, he come down every third part of the night, that's mean your God, Allah, is a yo-yo. We, 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 coming up, and I feel sorry for him. Hmm? Oh, God, he grow vegetables in the sun? <laughs> That's your imaginary. You know, I mean, look at them, look at them. They try to change the topic and fabricate things in order to avoid answering the stupidity on their book. They will talk about anything. Isn't you the one who opened the flat earth topic? Here we go. We are talking about the flat earth. Why you jump like a mosquito in two seconds? Finish one by one. Each one you say, we got you busted and we spank you. But the second we open the, the topic, he chose. Right away, he changed. Because he didn't want to talk about it no more. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Can we talk about the vegetables in the sun? <laughs> My friend, the only one who grow cucumber in your nose is your prophet. Shaitan, he sleep on your nose. He piss in your ears and he jump in your mouth. And not to forget, he play with your private part and he do boom boom to your wife. This is science, brother. Don't go there because I will rip you apart. And not to forget that Allah, he mentioned in the Quran, there is a people who they are not a human, they are called people of Gog and Magog. And those people, brother, they sleep inside their ear. Perfect for camping. I mean, imagine if every one of us, he have an ear in the size of a tent and you sleep inside it. And not only that, the population of the people of Gog and Magog is 1,000 to one human, which means if we are 7 billion, the Gog of Magog, and there will be seven trillions. But yet we cannot find one of them. It's easier to fight a big foot man from finding the people of Gog and Magog in the Quran, which Allah, he inspired his slave, Alexander the Great, to build the dam between us and them. And now they are digging the dam, by the way. <laughs> Science. Science, my friend. Science, oh my adraka, my science. قالوا يا ذي القرنين إن يا أجوج وما أجوج مفسدون في الأرض. فهل تنجع على لك؟ What was that? I mean, what? Gog and Magog, they are doing bad things in the earth. In in which book of history that there is people who they are not a human, and they are very savage. Where we can find their bones, do they die like us? And then Zulkarnain, by the way, do you know why he's called Zulkarnain? Science, this is pure science. Zulkarnain means the guy with the two horn. Have you ever heard of a god? He called someone the guy with the two horn. I mean, this guy don't have a name. Why you call him the guy with the two horn? He was a cow. Is you eat revelation, you donkey. Revelation, Re book of revelation is not about anything happening now. This is revelation about the future. This is about a different interpretation far away from anything as you see around you. This is how stupid silly you are. So when the book of revelation speak about horses or speak about the cloud or this is have nothing to do with science, but you, know, you are a Muslim. What I can say, I cannot insult you more than calling you a Muslim. No insult can go farther to a human being from calling him a Muslim. You are a person who believes that Alexander the Great, he built a dam between Gog and Magog. 
And now we cannot find Gog and Magog. And Zulqarnain was called in such a name because the kuffar killed him first time by hitting his head with the hammer. So he got a pimple there, a horn. Bing. And then Allah, he raised him from death, brother. So he came back to the kuffar. He told them, convert to Allah, otherwise Allah will punish you. They hit him again with the second hammer. And now he have two horns. <laughs> Science. Science. Hmm. The two horn nation. Hmm? Where we can find Gog and Magog, who he built a dam. And do you know what the dam is built from? Read carefully. It built it from iron and copper. Okay. Well, it's going to rust and the dam will collapse. And this is way before Muhammad. How long this dam, who is made from iron, is going to block those people? Why they are not coming? Hmm? What happened? If you read the interpretation for those verses from Islamic books, you will die laughing. It's the best comedy. Go and do it. Go slowly. You do not get it. Okay. Zulkhurnain, who it's which is Alexander the Great, he went in a journey. And in his journey, he found where the sun set. And he found where the sun rise. Nobody discovered that before. Actually, Zulkarnain, he was a YouTuber. And he was recording himself live on air. And he kept going. And then he took a video of himself. Until when he reached the setting of the sun. Setting of the sun. What setting of the sun? Setting place of the sun. Change the translation. You will see. Here we go. Potatoes. Eh? Here it says sitting to the sun too. Eh? Really? I mean, the, the, depending the liar, who is the liar? We are playing his translation. Ah, this guy is getting it better. And when he reached the setting place of the sun, where is the setting place of the sun, my friend? I mean, the sun set everywhere. <laughs> So the guy, he keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, until he found where the sun set. Bible says sun is a greater lamp. Yeah, a greater lamp than the other lamp connected to the earth. You're stupid like your prophet. Isn't it that this is the greatest? Let me let me show you how stupid you are. Isn't it your Quran saying that Abraham, when he saw the sun, he said, "This is my God. This is Akbar, you idiot." <laughs> Be careful, Muhammad. And when you are talking, you are talking to Christian Prince. I will grab you. It doesn't matter even if you shave your hair. Ah, don't make me talk about the hair in the Quran now because they make a miracle about it. When he saw the sun rising, he said, this is my God, this is bigger. Do you see it? How it is bigger, bigger than what? He was comparing it to the stars. Why it's bigger? Because it's so close to the earth for him. The stupidity is amazing. You just go, man. Just change your diet, okay? And if your wife, four wives are not making you happy, change them, brother. Hmm. Now we go back to, you notice, guys, he will talk, the Muslims in the chat, they will talk about anything except what we show on the screen. Did you notice how embarrassing? They will try their best to change the topic. How oh, we can get out of this now? How we can get out of this? And Muhammad, to make it more horrible, he, Muhammad, Muhammad is a fool who cannot keep his mouth shut. You know, like Muhammad is literally a big fool, 
like in the Middle East, if somebody's stupid, you know, Middle East, like we have a tradition. So if you want to get married, you take your parents with you if they are alive. If they are not alive, you take somebody elder from the family. So he speak, not you, to the parents asking for the hand of the girl. But if a person is a fool, they forbid him, the family, they forbid him, don't talk when we go there, okay? Don't, don't talk. If you talk, they will refuse you. So the guy, he go there and he sit like a mule. He don't talk. And this is the scenario of Muhammad. He is the person who cannot stop talking. Listen to what Muhammad he said. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, S-A-W-S. By the way, I just bought a shortwave radio uh, in case, you know, uh, I want to go do camping, you know. Who want to join me? Anyone like... Uh, uh, I now I get the radio, what is missing is the car. Which one is more, I mean, if you get the radio, you will get the car for camping. That's it, it's easy. <laughs> this is how we think we are Middle Eastern Arab people. Now, listen, I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, S-A-W-S-F-M short wave, B-M-W, said, he asked, do you know where this set? Look at that question, guys. Look how deep it is. Dr. Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. He want to show off that he is the person who have knowledge. Abu Dhar, and by, by the way, Muhammad, he asked those questions, so the so Muslim will say to you, Allah and his prophet knows best. They have to say that. All the purpose of this is to say to him this. I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. His ego, his ego, you know, he like he, yes, Allah and his apostle know best, you are right. And I will tell you now the secret. Don't share it, please. Just put it in hadith. And then he said, it said in a spring of hot or motor. <laughs> and this is totally inconsistent with the Quran. Which the Muslim they try to fool you, say, no, no, no. This is how Zul Qurnain he saw it, brother. Uh -huh. Where it says this is how he saw it. Can you show me? Uh, Almighty, yeah, yeah, just just you know, I, I will I will I will hide your name from my channel for a very simple reason. You keep com coming out of the topic, you are a coward, like your prophet, the child molester. You never answer anything we showed you. You can say whatever you want about the Bible, but the topic today is not about the Bible. So why you keep jumping like a monkey? For you are a monkey. Eh, don't talk about monkeys. You remind me now that monkeys, according to Muhammad, they are Muslims. And not only that, they practice Sharia law, brother. Oh boy. Sound happy today, my friend, I am single. What are you talking about? You don't know what it feels to be single. <laughs> you wake up when you want, and you do as you wish. You drink coffee when you want. You drive your car when you want. That's perfect, you know? Look at those married people. Look at them. Uh, you want to leave the house? Where are you going? Uh, uh, but, uh, come back. You know, I need you. See? Hello. Like, hello. Anyway. During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, supposedly, supposedly, by the way, before Islam, people were ignorant. I mean, come on. Before Islam, people were ignorant. So during the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, take a note. I saw a she monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys. <laughs> what happened? What happened, Shapanzi? What happened? <laughs> they were all stoning it because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse. Like, what the heck? What a filthy she, fe fe she, fe uh, she, she male, female monkey. How you do that? You cheated on your husband? Can you believe it, guys? We cannot trust monkeys. I mean, you cannot trust female monkeys, period. That's it, proven scientifically, you know? She was committing illegal sexual intercourse. <laughs> science, science, my friend, science.
do you remember the guy from uh, from Gaza, a Muslim from Gaza, from the terrorist ter territory of Hamas? He want to prove to us that Allah He made the Jews into pigs. So how he want to prove that? He says the only creature who have pigs and monkeys. They have such a bad habit is the monkeys and pigs. They have sex with their mother. <laughs> And they eat their feces. <laughs> Let me turn the fan on. I'm sweating from nothing. Oh boy. Oh boy. <clears throat> Who can deny such a beautiful thing? It's true. And actually, if you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will see the details of the story here. They, here, they, they, you know, the Muslim they eat the details. You know, the, the story is gone, but this is not the whole story. Let me see if I can find it in the same website, where here the, the story supposedly uh, that a female monkey she was sleeping over the arm of her husband, and then she saw another handsome monkey from behind a tree. So she lifted her arm from under her sleeping husband and she sneaked behind the other tree and they do boom boom. And then she came back and then she lay down next to him and then she left his head and she put his head in the top of her arm. But the monkey, he woke up and he said to himself, <laughs> I smell something fishy. Then he started sniffing her, and he smelled a sperm of a strange monkey. So he got so upset, and he starts screaming, and all the Abdul monkeys, they came for rescue. The biggest chimpanzee in the tribe, he said to him, <coughs> Translation, tell us what happened. The victim, which is the husband in this case as usual, he said to her, <laughs> <laughs> the big chimpanzee, he listened to him carefully. He said, let us sniff her bum. And then the Abdul, I mean the monkeys, they started sniffing the bum of the monkey. And they discovered, yes, there is a sperm different from his sperm. You see, there is laboratory there. And then they captured her and they stole her. And supposedly, those are monkeys who practice Allah law. <laughs> I'm trying to find you the other story. I cannot find it. Yeah, there I can find it here. Let me see. <clears throat> oh. I will try to find you more details. Yeah. Anyway, actually, this page is really good because we can show you many things. <clears throat> oh. Here Ibn Mas'ud saying that those monkeys are not from the monkeys of the Jews. <laughs> anyway, so we go back to our topic. You see, if you go as an example, the scientific miracle of the Quran, and this is the website of Harun Yahya. You know Harun Yahya, the guy who appear always in TV? He have like tons of girls dancing around him, you know? Those are Sufi. Uh, somebody said uh, in text in the chat and we, we because we spoke about Sufi in the other day if you remember about the spiritual relationship between Muslims and Allah somebody says Sufi are Muslims my friend each one of them he think he's a Muslim and the rest are not but Sufi are not Muslims why because any Muslim he knew that what Sufi practice is far away from what Muhammad taught as an example Mimi Hijab is a Sufi Vifi is not in Pakistan, the people of Fifi, they killed the people of Mimi. Why? Because they are Sufi. 
Why they kill them? Because they are kuffar. If you go right now in YouTube and search for Sufi, especially in Arabic, you will find the saying, Dalalat, the deception, the misleading teaching, practice of Sufi. They are kuffar for them. So those are Sufi, and they are not really Muslims. Muhammad made it clear. Actually, if you go here to the Hadith, the one we showed you about the monkey, you will see Muhammad saying clearly that the one who play music, Allah will make him a pig and a monkey and the earth will swallow him. And Sufi play music and they sing and they dance. And they practice things Muhammad never allowed to be practiced. So they are not Muslims, period. According to Muhammad teaching. All right. And here, by the way, you notice that Muhammad, he is always consistent with the stupid claim that God will make you a pig or a monkey if you don't do what he wants you to do. If you remember, if we go in the Quran, we will find Muhammad saying the following. <clears throat> That when the Jews, they break their Sabbath, Allah, he made them monkeys. Chapter 2, verse number 65. Translation here used the word apes, but the accurate translation is monkeys. The word in Arabic is qirada. So just because they violate, the, they, 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 they have violation in Saturday, Allah, he made the monkeys. And if you go and read the story, how he, they made violation in Saturday, you will find that Allah, he was playing a dirty game with them. So Allah, he forbid them from fishing in Saturday. And those are fishermen who live in an island. I don't know where is that island. You tell me, maybe Hawaii. Uh, Here we go. If you go to chapter 7, verse number 138, you will find the story written there. And we brought the children of Israel with safety across the sea, and they come upon a people devoted to, uh, to, uh, to some of their idols in worship. They said, O Moses, make for us blah, 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 blah. So this is a story supposedly about Allah saving the Jews. Then later he will say, Allah, he made the Jews, Pigs and monkeys. You go to chapter 7, verse 163, in the same chapter, and ask them, ask them, Muhammad, ask them about the town was by the sea when they transgressed in the matter of Sabbath, i.e. Saturday between two brackets. When their fish come to them openly in Sabbath day and did not come to them in the day, they had no Sabbath. <laughs> And then because they did fishing in Saturday, if you go a few verses down, you will find it in verse 166. Allah, he punished them for fishing in Saturday by making them monkeys. Here you will see the pure science of Allah is collapsing. I mean, sorry, not collapsing. It's building up. Allah will make you a monkey if you do fishing in Saturday, but he will not make you a monkey if you rape in Saturday. He will not make you a monkey if you kill in Saturday. Muslims. Why you Muslims do fishing in Saturday then? And Allah don't make you a monkey. By the way, I had a fish in Saturday, on Saturday in the other day. And since then, I noticed the hair in my body is growing. You know, we are Middle Eastern. We are so hairy, you know. Once they kicked me out from the swimming pool, they thought I'm wearing my clothes. I said, I'm not wearing my clothes. He said, so what is this? Isn't it, this is a fur? <laughs> Idiot. This is my hair. I'm an Arab. Hello? Crazy people. Western people don't understand uh, that, that we are uh, a different species. <laughs> hmm. So... <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim have any comment? Why we have only 843 people? What happened? Okay, I will change the topics to increase the number. Men, I will teach you how to avoid being beaten by your wives. Invite your friends. 
<laughs> Do you remember when Muhammad he have a strike of his wife against him and they were throwing tomato and potatoes in his house? Death to Muhammad, a cheater, oh, a child molester, you know? And then Muhammad, in order to save his ass, excuse my language, did I say ass? I should not say ass. I should say the bum. That's not nice. Okay, so in order to save himself, science, pure science, my friend. The Muslim, they make a, a statement. They said that George Bornat show. Hold on, let me show you the article. <laughs> I need to find it, sorry. George Bornat show. I don't know even how to spell his name. Excuse my Arabic language, I mean, my, my English. George Bernard Show. Show or shoe? I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> and I will add next to it the name of Muhammad. Guys. Uh, quote about George Bernard Shaw. Prophet Muhammad Guys Oh, oh boy. Let me show you. Are you ready? Uh, no, not, not this page. Where is the page? Anyway, the Muslim, they claim that George Bernard show uh, about Muhammad saying that if Prophet Muhammad was exist today he can solve all the problems in 10 minutes during drinking his coffee in the morning like what like what George Bernard Shaw he said that me no don't here we go here we go i found actually and they make it in, in big shots guys they put they put the quotation of george Bernard Shaw. and by the way this quotation is fabrication never exists nobody can find it in any book of george Bernard Shaw. it was published published by islamic center in, uh, in in singapore many many years ago here we go but we cannot find where this guy he said that why because this is islam my friend it's a fraud I assure you, after I die, they will say, Christian Prince, he converted to Islam and he gave Allah a finger before he died. Because Muslims, they put a finger up, right? They say, Ashhadu an la ilaha laha. So they will say that Christian Prince, he gave Allah a finger and he said Shahada. The guy never said that. They fabricate. And look, what is the reference? The Genuine Islam Singapore, volume number one, number eight, 1930s but this is a this is a muslim magazine where we can find this reference where we can find that george bernard Shaw, he said that actually george bernard Shaw, he said something very ugly about muhammad that he's a violent he's a war monster now let us assume that the Muslim trying to convince us that Muhammad he can solve all the problems. Look, look at it. Look what it says. <sighs> George Bernard Shaw said about him, he must be called the savior of a humanity. Let me get some tissues. I'm going to cry. <laughs> savior of a humanity. <laughs> now we are looking for coronavirus and we don't have savior for a humanity. We are waiting for Prophet Muhammad. 
What is that? He is the saver of you. This guy is a criminal. He killed everybody around him. He said I was victorious by the terror from a distance of one month journey. <laughs> and then, brother, guys, is, is the text clear? Is the text clear for you? Can you read it? I hope you can. Let me highlight underneath. <clears throat> he said, I believe that if a man like him were um, I need to make it the line more thin. Hold on. I need I need a thinner line. Very very thin. Okay. <clears throat> I believe he said. Who said that? Zoris Barnaso. That if a man like him were to assume the dictatorship of the modern world that is Hitler he would succeed in solving its problems in a way that would bring it much needed peace <laughs> and happiness <laughs> actually the quotation here is different from another quotation where it says he can first solve the problem in 10 minutes during drinking coffee what happened they are changing the quotation. Hold on. Let me see the one about uh, coffee. Uh, this is a different one. But it's very small for you to read it. Hmm. Anyway, let me show you the guy who can solve the problem of the world during drinking a coffee in the morning. What happened to him when he started having fight with his wives? And right away you will see how Muhammad can solve all our problems. Look at this. We changed the topic, right? We are not talking about science no more. Oh, actually, we are, because here Muhammad is uh, Muhammad. He said that women are stupid, right, and they are weak. And then we find that Muhammad is terrified by women. Read carefully with me, Muhammadan. Oh boy. The wives of Muhammad, they got him busted, cheating, and sleeping with Mary, the copt in the bed of Hafsa. So they have a strike, they cannot take it no more because he keep doing that. He's like a pig. So, two wives of Muhammad, they are two parties, like Republican and Democrat, you know? Muhammad had many wives, as you know. So they are two parties. One run by Aisha and the other one run by Hafsa. If two of your wives, this is between two brackets, to explain to you by the translator supposedly, uh, Prophet SAW, SAW is like short wave, long wave, you know, namely Aisha and Hafsa, mm, turn in repentance to Allah. It will be better for you. For who? For the Muslim, uh, for, uh, for, for the two wives. Your heart are indeed inclined. In, in, in he is accusing the wives of Muhammad. Allah accusing his wife became kuffar. His wife became his, his heart, their heart, a heart of Satan, to oppose the prophet likes. But if you help one against any against him, if you help each other against him, look what will happen. Look at the one who can solve the problems of the world in ten minutes. Then verily. Allah is his mawla, which means his protectors. Between two brackets, the Lord and the master and the protectors, etc., etc. <laughs> is it enough to get the protection from Allah against two women? They are five foot tall? No, man, you cannot. Remember, those are women. They have long nails. I mean, come on. I mean, all of us, we knew how dangerous women are. I mean, just to stay around them for two minutes, either you are dead or you are dead. <laughs> unbelievable and then so Allah will be his protector is that enough no and Jibreel too Jibreel is joining the fight against the five foot women like what Jibreel is coming with the 600 wings 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 and Jibreel is that enough no uh, come on man I'm telling you women are so dangerous you cannot fight two women by Allah and Jibreel alone still the army is not ready to win the fight Hello? 
and Jibreel. So now we have Allah, and let me highlight, let me highlight for you. Oh boy. Why we have only 920, and why we have only 641 like? Honestly, guys, do I deserve 641 like? I deserve one like. Unbelievable. <laughs> don't worry about the like or dislike. Who care? I mean, I do what I do, and I don't care who support me, who don't. Honestly, I do my duty to teach and reach out to people and share my time with them for free. People appreciate, don't appreciate, it doesn't count for me. What count for me? The Lord is watching. So look at this. Muhammad have a problem with his two wives, and now he is Allah is talking. This is not Muhammad talking, remember. Allah is his protector. Okay. And now Jibreel too. So okay, so we got now Allah in the fight, and now we get Jibreel. Jibreel have 600 wings. I mean, if this guy, he turned on his wings, like he would, he would make them fly, man. Imagine 600 wings. Imagine if my fan have 600 wings. Man, okay. And then, is it enough? No! It's not enough to fight two women. They are five foot. Hello! They are, I'm telling you, they are dangerous, man. You don't believe me. I'm... Pfft, hello? What's wrong with people? Allah and Jibreel, they cannot stop those two women. So we need more support. And... Every single righteous among the believer. If, 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 if. Mimi and Fifi and CC and Dudu and Osama bin Laden, all of them, they will join in the fight. Al-Qaeda, ISIS against Aisha and Hafsa. Is it enough? No. Still, they are not going to win. We need more. And furthermore, the angels. <laughs> Hmm. I'm not sure how many of you hate me. Many, I'm sure. So let us imagine this. Muhammad, we cannot say Muhammad like this. We can say we have to say S A W or something. You know, you cannot you cannot say his name without adding some like stuff. Like, come on, this is very rude. I mean, there's no there's no respect these days. Seriously. So, brother, uh, this is uh, let us say this is. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad. Okay, this is the Prophet Muhammad. Hold on, my, why my? Oh, we made it so thin. Oh, okay, <clears throat> we need to make it thicker. All right. So this is the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. I don't know if I told you that I won the award of art for 2025, you know, which happened in Tokyo. I mean, because we have time traveling problem, you know. So anyway, this is the Prophet Muhammad. And now there's two women, they are here. Aisha. Hmm, very cute. She's small, you know. And then we have Hafsa. Hafsa is bigger. In one side so let us here make it clear that actually let us make them blue I mean why I made them we cannot make them all one color red and blue those are the blue team Aisha and Hafsa and this is against Prophet Muhammad Allahu Akbar so like here we have the the two armies you know Muhammad he cannot face those two women they are so dangerous and all of us, we agree. I mean, one woman, she can destroy you. What about two? So, Muhammad, he asked Allah for refuge. And then Allah himself, he came for the sake of supporting. And you know, Allah is big, so we have to make him really big. Allah is an Akbar, you know? I mean, how, how big we can make him more than big, you know? I mean, very big. And uh, Allah, I cannot, draw, I cannot draw, him, draw, draw him white because Allah, according to Islam, is white. But let us see if it's going to show on the screen. I think in the screen, yeah, you can't see it white. So if you make it white, we have to choose different color. The racist Muhammad and his religion believe Allah is white and the angels are white. Uh, let us make Allah blue. No, not blue. Green. Yeah, green is fine. Okay, so this is Allah. 
and Allah remember he have two hands in the right shoulder which is very nice I mean I wish I have two hands in the right shoulder you know I mean <laughs> the police will come to arrest me they will look for my hands in the left side they cannot find it <laughs> anyway and he have one shin he have one foot and he's big he's really big not big, big so huge okay and then Jibreel and Jibreel is an angel have 600 wings so those are like this is Jibreel and those are his wings 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 we 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 a lot of wings okay this is Jibreel and not enough and every single Abdul in the world look all those Abdul 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 like a 1.4 billion according to Muslim by the way yesterday they came to 2 billion just wait until next 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 weekend there will be 3 billions and then brother is it enough no every single angel in the sky they will join the fight so all the angels millions of angels will join the fight to support muhammad against to his, his two wives isn't it obvious that this is a true story i mean this guy he have to use his god to subdue his wives isn't it obvious and that's what muhammad he do anyone oppose him he make quran he claim allah said that so they will shut up but this is going to be from God. I mean, God, he's making a scandal. And if you read the story, the prophet, he said to one of his wives not to tell the other wives about a secret. <laughs> if you read, guys, if you read, look, look, look at this, look at this. This is, this is a story being told maybe by my grandma saying to other grandma to kill time when they are drinking coffee in the morning. And remember... When the Prophet SAWSFM disclosed a matter of confidence to one of his wives, between two brackets, Hafsa. So when she told to other, to other Aish, <laughs> what a scandal! <laughs> this is a book of God. <laughs> I better go before women they kill me. I better go. It's risky. It's getting risky. I see the women are getting upset now. Oh boy. I mean, I, okay, well, guys, why, why women they are separated? We said that the women are dangerous. It's true. Look at men. You know, they lose their weight after they get married. They take medication after they get married. They stand long hours be behind the sink, you know, cleaning the dishes. I mean, come on. We have to be uh, uh, re realistic here. How many men they went to the hospital because, <laughs> because they have a scratch in their skin because of the nails? <laughs> Unbelievable. True story, true story. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim here? Anyone? Any Abdul? By the way, women, why you grow your nails? Are you getting ready for something or something? <laughs> I mean, they are getting ready for war, man. I mean, explain to me then why those long nails are there if it's not for war. I think one day they will attack us and they will finish us all, you know? We will be like in the museum. They like the, the women, they will make a museum. They say, one day we used to have men in this earth. <laughs> this is what is left over of CP. Oh, boy. Oh no, this is what is left over of Muhammad. <laughs> okay, so do we have any Muslim want to say anything about the science of the Quran, my friend? <clears throat> Anyone? Oh, I did I say nails? Did I say nails and finger? Guess what? The Muslim they say that there is a finger fingertips, sorry, fingerprint in the Quran. Hold on, let me, let me show you the article. Amazing brother. Man, Quran have everything. Even fingerprint, brother. Are you sure, brother? Yes, brother. I'm very sure, brother. Here we go. Let me get you some articles about the fingerprints in the Quran, brother. Uh, look, I, I found a video of Zakir Naik. <laughs> Shall I play the connect fingerprint video? Let us play it. Hold on, let me open it. Because that would be hilarious. Brother and sister, the Quran speak about fingerprint before the 
Are you ready to hear Zachary Naik talking about fingerprint in the Quran? No, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me put it in the screen. Zachary, don't talk. Zachary, don't talk. Wait. I can't. We want to hear it from the beginning. Okay, now I welcome you to the biggest scholar in history. His name is Zachary Naik. His last name, by the way, is dirty in Arabic. Nayak in Arabic is very bad. Don't ever say it to anyone. A very. I'm telling you, never go to the Middle East and use that word. You, you will get shot in two seconds. The Quran mentioned in Surah Qiyamah, chapter number 75, verse number 3 and 4, where the unbelievers say that after we have died, after human beings have died and have been buried and their bones have got disintegrated, how will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, almighty God, be able to reassemble our bones on the day of judgment? So Allah gives the reply that tell them Allah can not only reconstruct the bones, he can even reconstruct in perfect order the very tips of your fingers. What does the Quran mean by saying almighty God on the day of resurrection? He can not only reconstruct your bones, he can even reconstruct in perfect order the very tips of your fingers. It was in 1880 that Sir Francis Gold, he discovered the fingerprinting method. <laughs> and he said that no two fingerprints, even in a million human beings, can be identical. You don't hear, guys? The sound is not working? No, the sound is working fine. What do you mean, the voice? The sound is working fine. So... Turn up the volume. Uh -huh. Okay. In perfect order, the very tips of your fingers. What does the Quran mean by saying, Almighty God, on the day of resurrection? He can not only reconstruct your bones, he can even reconstruct in perfect order the very tips of your fingers. It was in 1880 that Sir Francis Gold, he discovered the fingerprinting method. And he said that no two fingerprints, even in a million human beings, can be identical. And today, people use the fingerprinting method, especially the police. They're especially the police. Let me get you busted, you idiot. You see, he just said, Allah will put your bones together. And the fingertips is the bones, not the skin. Let us go to the Quran. I mean, it's so stupid. And how they are so desperate to make their book something. Let's go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> okay. You know, when, uh, when a Muslim he says something, and what I like about their videos, they show you the reference. Hold on. What is the reference? Let us go back. Here we go. After human beings have died and have been... Chapter 73, 75, sorry. Verse number 3 and 4. Shall we go there? And you will find this is about putting the bones together. Just to show you how they lie. They have no dignity. No honesty. It's the blood of liars talking. It's about, you know, putting together his bones. Does the man that does this believe suppose that we shall not assemble his bones? It's about what? About his bones. Verse after, after it. This is verse number three. Go to verse number four. Is it about his skin? Is it about fingerprint? Coward liars. Bala qadirina ala an nusawi bananahu. It's his finger, you idiot, and his bones. Read carefully. Yes, indeed, we shall assemble them, and we are able, in addition, to assemble them, reshape even fingers that they say to restore their bones. Because the bones of the fingers are small. Not only the big bones, we can put them together, even the finger bones. Look, they made the verse speaking about fingerprint. Do you see how they lie? I turn my head, I turn around, 
I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around, and all what I can see, a bunch of bones around me. Zachary Nayak, you idiot. You are literally an idiot, Zachary Nayak. I hope he is not listening. If Zachary Nayak is listening, guess what? He will do something about it. He cannot, you know, Zachary Nayak, he cannot tolerate lies. He will call me right now to get me busted. And actually, he did a lot of time call me, you know, like, I mean, he always called me to get me busted. You know, but I think now it's too late for him to call. What the heck? Zachary Nayak is calling. I'm not going to answer. That's scary. No, sorry. Come tomorrow. Hmm? Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn off this phone. Uh oh, it's calling me in the other Hello. phone. Yeah, this is my answering machine. <laughs> Let him get luck with the answering machine. Okay. Uh oh, this is my grandma phone. He's going to call. That's it. He will not stop until I answer. Hello? Christian Prince, I'm going to get you busted. In the present of Quran, in the city booth. Hey, Zachary Naik, it says banana, oh, you idiot. Banana, oh, do you speak Arabic? First of all, I don't speak Arabic. So why you are saying it doesn't say that, CP? I did not say CP. The one who said that is Fifi. Oh, uh, okay, it doesn't say that CP is Fifi, it's correct, that's not you. So, this is the interpretation by all the scholars, it says that assemble his bones. So where you got the fingerprint from? Christopher, Quran is miraculous. And we have miraculous understanding of the miraculous Quran. Uh, that's a miraculous thing, I agree with you. So you add things that's not there, and you claim that this miraculous understanding so the one who made the explanation, your scholars, they are not miraculous understanding too? First of all, our scholar, they have wrong understanding. And I'm going to explain to you. As an example, Tafsir al Dalalim, the one you are showing in the screen, is not accurate and is stupid. Okay, Zach and Mike, we change. Can we go to Tafsir uh, Ibn Abbas, which is the cousin of your prophet? Are you going to say that he is a fool? Christopher Prince, so respect. This is the cousin of the prophet, and he is not a fool. Okay, but he is saying there, he will put their fingertips together, he will put the bones together. So why you are saying it's not about bones? Hmm? He said that. Christopher Prince, you are a liar. Ibn Abbas will never say such a thing. I trained you. Zachary Nike, it's in the screen. Just read it, man. Put it for me in the screen. Uh, the screen is not coming. Okay, just wait. Refresh your your screen in a second and you will see it says we are able to make his hand look like a hoof of a camel <laughs> Christian Prince there's no way Ibn Abbas will say such a thing yes it says that we are a human Allah will make our our our, our hand like a hoof of a camel <laughs> I think you are a hoof of a camel too Christian Prince I swear by Allah if I see you I'm going to make you sit kebab Zachary you promise? I don't promise that. I know you have a lot of guns. <laughs> okay, Zakir Naik, stupid idiot. And now all those Muslims sitting there, nobody said to him, it doesn't say that. I mean, do you know? Do you, did you see how many people are in the stage? Like, I mean, in the in the in the in that in that location gathering? Not a single decent Muslim. He says to him, "You are a liar. You are a fraud. Where do you get this from? Where in the verse speaking about fingerprint?" And this is goes for every claim they have in their propaganda machine. As an example, not this one. Let us see other one. Hold on, brother. The liars of the atmosphere. Hey Sahih Christian, how are you? My friend, let me introduce you, Sahih Christian. This is a, a this is a person who accompanied me for a long, long time. He's a wonderful person, wonderful brother, and he used to join almost every day uh, my chat room when I was teaching about Islam in Pato. Wonderful person. Good to see you, my my brother. The scientific miracle of the Quran. Hmm. The liars of the atmosphere. 
mean? That's so good to be true. He is speaking about the layers of the atmosphere in the Quran. Yes, brother. In chapter 41, verse number 11 and 12. <laughs> and look here. They make a drawing for you in case you are slow. You know, the seven layers of the atmosphere. By the way, it's not seven layers. This is not true. You know, there is there is layers. Uh, they are divided into layers. However, does read the verse speaking about the seven layers of the atmosphere? Hmm? Here they are quoting for us, and he created everything in the earth for you, and he directed his attention, his attention. <laughs> <laughs> Allah he went to the sky became his attention I mean the guy he went literally to the sky you idiot now it is his attention I mean do you see how they changed the translation <laughs> I'm being changed by Sheena okay Sheena do you want to call me in Skype Sheena Sheena do you like to call me Okay, no problem. We are coward. Do you dare to call me? No problem. Do you dare to call me? I will open Skype just for you, Sheena. Is that okay? Oh, oh that's it. Sheena have a diarrhea. It's called debate me coward. <laughs> like the Ahmadiyya leader. You know, he died because of diarrhea. We got it. We got it, Sheena. We got it. Do you want to debate me? Do you like to call me? Say yes, and I will open Skype just for you. <clears throat> Sheena? Sheena, Sheena, where are you? Everybody waiting for you. Can you say I challenge you? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Sheena, Sheena, where you go? You are disappear out of the blue. Here we go. Sheena is dead now. Sheena was calling me coward. Do you dare to debate me? Okay, you just you are just a kid. Go. Take a hike. We thought you are a fart, it turned to be a poo poo. Okay. <clears throat> we go back to our topic. So in the Quran, it's speaking about the seven layers of the atmosphere. Chapter 63, 67, verse number three. And chapter 71, verse number 15. <whistles> hold on, hold on, you donkey. You quote for me chapter 41, but there it says that Allah, he created in the lowest liar, your liar, the lambs. You see, guys, did you ask yourself why they cut off the verses look here they are saying chapter 41 verse number 11 and 12 do you really believe that those are complete verses or they chop them off what do you think guys who want to bet that they chop them off to hide that the quran says that allah he made the the, the lamps in the lowest heaven <laughs> so the lamps which mean the stars are in the atmosphere and they are in the lowest layers of the atmosphere. Let's go there. Chapter 41, verse number 11. Hold on. <laughs> this is the best comedy show ever. Unbelievable. You know, yeah, they, they, what they call it? Stand, stand, uh, stand alone or stand what? What they call it? I forgot what they call it, but it's, uh, it's something like that. Stand something, you know? Like stand in your fingers, whatever. I play ballet, ballet, ballet. So look at this. They quote for us this, but look what they cut off of the verse. Did you notice? Here it says, and then we adorn the nearest lowest heaven with lamps. So they took it off from the verse to make it fit with the science they are talking about. Because if they say to you that verse saying that Allah, he put the lamps there, that means the atmosphere stand-up comedy i don't like to do stand-up comedy i like to sit hello <laughs> forget about it <laughs> unbelievable stand-up comedy forget about it man 
We want to stand up for the sake of comedy. I mean, it's funny even, you know, but look at this. So do you see that, guys, do you see how they are not decent? Why somebody is teaching me about his God? Why he took off a very big part of the verses lying to us, trying to make it about the atmosphere? Do you see it? They took it off. Islamic comedy and they are looking for a fool to fool him are you a fool that's why always I say if a fool like Muhammad can fool you how fool are you <laughs> Galon Sham you are leaving okay guys there is somebody is leaving close the door we are Muslims you can join you cannot leave somebody get him he's leaving you cannot leave this is the only way we can grow in number we open the door, you get in, you cannot leave. Nobody is allowed to leave. Period. Guys, did you capture the guy who is saying good night? Good, good night, I'm leaving. Cap somebody capture him. We cannot leave. You know, we are Muslims. This is the only way to keep the, the religion growing. You cannot leave. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. <clears throat> And you know, the first time I went to a chat room, and there they said to me, Lul. And I was wondering, like, who is Lul? What is Lul? I never heard of this in dictionary. Lul, Lul. I said, you know, they said to me, Lul. I said, who is this Lul? So I went to Google and I started searching for Mr. Lul. Oh boy. This is what happened to you when you are an Arab learning English, you know? Exactly, yeah. First time I heard about a Christian guy, he took me from the church and he took me downtown. He said, are you hungry? I said, yes. He said, let us eat hot dogs. I said, what's wrong with those Christians? They want to feed me hot dogs. I mean, what about hot cats? <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Disgusting Christian people. Oh boy. Anyway. <clears throat> um. Any Muslim want to say to us why you are lying when you speak about miracles? Why you cut the verses off? Oh, because if we show you, then the, the, the claim will not fit. People will laugh at us. This is how it is, my friend. Bunch of liars. Any Muslim, he feel the energy to call me. I will open Skype just for you. Apostasy. <laughs> yes, John. Yes, this is true. I'm going to announce the punishment of leaving the Christian Prince room. This is the only way so we can grow. And I will say I have 1.4 billion viewer. <laughs> oh boy. Oh God. So why why Muslims they lie to us about the Quran saying the Quran is a stupid book. Women have a sperm coming. By the way, when the Quran say women have a sperm coming from their ribs, it's true. It's true. A lot of scientists they did not discover that yet because this is very deep knowledge. It's not easy to find those things by yourself. You need the knowledge of Allah. In order to receive the knowledge of Allah, you have to go to the biggest scholars. As an example. Uh, Ibn Kathir, brother. And there, brother, you will find an amazing teaching of Allah, teaching you how women, they have a sperm coming from the upper side of their ribs. This is why women, they can rip you off by just using their ribs. I mean, their uh, tips, whatever. I mean, what uh, tips, yeah, tips, fingertips. <laughs> okay, look what the Quran says, brother. Before you have intercourse, uh, <coughs> Ismail Qureshi, he want to call me. Okay, Ismail, I will turn the sky just for you. Hold on. Just for you, Ismail Qureshi. <coughs> what we will do?
Let us see. Turn in Skype just for Mr. Ishmael. <clears throat> Where is my Skype? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm coming. Ishmael, just hold for a second, please. I'm just logging in. Sometime it takes time. <clears throat> you know, because my Skype is full of people, so it's heavy. Unbelievable how heavy it is. It's like, man, full. All right. It's loading. I hope he will call because usually they say we will call. And then after we open Skype for them, they don't. Um, almost there. All right. Okay, Mr. Ishmael, just give me a text, my friend. Give me a text. And I will I will text you back. <clears throat> I will call you back. Just tell me that you are Ishmael, the one who wanna call. I'm waiting for you, Ishmael. Oh, we have Almighty. He tried to call me too. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's see Almighty. Hello? <laughs> Almighty is giving delivery. MashaAllah. Okay, what a kid. <clears throat> where, is, uh, where is the guy? His name is uh, Ishmael. What happened to Ishmael? You know, we are here, my friend. You changed your mind? You are not serious? <clears throat> Any Muslim who would like to call us? <clears throat> well, I told you, here. Uh, this is the Almighty. The guy, his name is Almighty in the chat. He's the one who called, and he was in the delivery. It's, it's painful. You can you can tell the voice was really so. I mean, I don't blame him. I don't want to say to you <laughs> that would be horrible. So what happened to you, Ishmael? Are you going to call me or not? If you don't call, I'm going to block you, my friend. Because you made me go on Skype for nothing. You're not being decent. Are you going to call or not? <clears throat> hmm. This guy is calling me again. Hold on. Hello? Did you call me a gay? No. No? Hello? Yeah, you are a Muslim, right? Yeah, what, why are you why are you spreading misinformation like what? about Islam? Like what? Give us an example. Uh, you said uh, in chapter 75, Verse three, four. Yeah. That 
uh, Allah is talking about the bonds, mm. but it is actually the fingertips. Okay, I want to have a challenge between me and your friendly challenge. Can you show me one Islamic interpretation agree with you? In front of me, I have Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, speaking about bonds. No skin there, read it. This is Ibn Abbas, and he is the one who named by Muhammad himself that he is the Hebrew Ummah, which means the scholar of all Muslims. So are you saying that Ibn Abbas is a liar? Because you said to me I'm lying when I say that. But I'm just reading what Ibn Abbas said. So you are saying that the Prophet cousin Ibn Abbas is a companion of Muhammad and he's from his family. He is a fraud. Do you agree? Yeah, he is a fraud. He's a fraud. That's wonderful. What do you think about Muhammad? Is he a fraud too? No. Okay. Now, I want you to show me where in the Quran it says, I will put together his skin. Where is Hold the word? Open second. Where we can find the word skin. I can open all the translation for you. We will not find anywhere the word skin, other than they are saying bones. So who is who is a liar here? Somebody is lying. Let's talk about Bible. No, don't talk about the Bible for now. We want to finish the topic. You call me to accuse me to be a liar. So we want to we know who is lying here. You know, people want to hear from you. Okay, huh? if you give me uh, uh, some one minute, I will show you. I will give you one day. Come on, go ahead. Hold on. I'm holding. Hmm. Hello, hello. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So? I can show you all the Muslim translations in the internet exist, and you will see none of them is coming what you are saying. This is, okay. a, this no. is, a, this is a Muslim fabrication. <clears throat> Are you there? No, I'm not there. You are there. I'm here. Okay. Uh -huh. Chapter 75, mm. verse number 3 to 4. Yes. Yeah. man think mm. that we will not assemble his bones. Yes, we are able even to proportion his fingertips. Okay, so fingertips is bones or not? So the man he think we cannot assemble his bones. How clear we can make it? So he's saying they cannot take our bones, so he's answering him, not only we can do his bones, we can do the smallest bones in his body, his fingertips. What is fingertips? When the Quran was revealed, there was no knowledge about fingertips. No problem, but what fingertips mean? Fingertips, what fingertips? Is it bones or skin? Both. Both? <laughs> May Allah both you. Do you have a proof? I can show from the dictionary. It doesn't say that, my friend. It says he cannot. Do you think we cannot assemble his bones? No. Even we can assemble his finger, his, the smallest bones of his body. Okay, my friend, my friend, my friend. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's hundreds of Islamic scholars explain the Quran. If there's anyone agree with you Muslims today, or all of them agree with me. If we go here as an example, I can switch to Arabic or English, and we will find all Muslim scholars say this is about putting the bones together. Not a single. Okay, what about Ibn Kathir? Do you think Ibn Kathir is a stupid, or he knew what he's talking about? What do you think? I don't. Know, I don't know about Ibn Kathir. Why you do not know about Ibn Kathir? Isn't the one? Is the Muslim now? He's a Hindu. Do you think he's a Hindu? Why Ibn Kathir will not get it right? What do you think? What is what is the, Yeah, but you need to tell me why Ibn Kathir is not getting it right. Why you know better than Ibn Kathir? Hmm? Why you do not why why Ibn Kathir, why Ibn Kathir he do not know Arabic? And you know do you, do you speak Arabic? No, I don't speak Arabic. Okay, so how so how the one who speak Arabic, those are scholars who speak Arabic and they are Arab? They do not know what the word means, but you are a Pakistani guy coming from Pakistan who knows what the word means. You and Zakir Naik. You tell me. I'm, I'm not from Pakistan. You're from Bangladesh. India. India? Oh, okay. Look what Ibn Kathir is saying, that we are going to put his bones together. 
So we will put together his finger. Do you see? It says here, we will put his fingertips together. We will put his bones together. There was okay. no knowledge about fingertips. What, 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 what do you mean they don't have? This is Arabic language. They are just telling you what the words in Arabic mean. The writers made a mistake. Ah, so Ibn Kathir made a mistake, al Jalalain make a mistake, al Qurtubi make a mistake, Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, make a mistake. You are the one who don't have that they mistake. Were, they, they were all living in a time where knowledge was limited. Mm. But you remember, you did not show me where it says the word is skin, he will put it together. I, I, have, I have proof of uh, scientific miracles in the Quran. Okay, choose one, go ahead. Guys, our friend here, I like, I like this guy actually, I'm going to make him an admin when we are close, you know? When we close the chat, we will make him admin there, I promise you. Now listen, I want you to show me a scientific no, miracle in the Quran I, of I your will, choice. Show me one, show me one. Make you Muslim. Show me one. I will make you Muslim. Show me, you make me a Muslim. That's wonderful. Go ahead. I will get, I will get a lot of women finally. <laughs> Man, I can't wait. <laughs> Go ahead. Make me a Muslim. Okay. Hmm. In the Quran. Yeah. In chapter 51, verse 48. Chapter, chapter 51, verse what? 48. 48. That's a nice verse, my friend. You choose the perfect one. Unbelievable! That's amazing verse, my friend. Okay. Of the universe. Okay, go ahead. What 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 it says? <clears throat> the expansion of the universe. This is chapter fifty-one, verse number forty-eight. Just hold it. Just hold it. You get the wrong verse, my friend. This verse saying that Allah He made the earth flat. This verse here saying the earth is a flat. The verse you choose for me is the wrong verse. It says Allah He made the earth flat. Well Ardu Farashnaha. You are quoting wrong verse, my friend. Huh? Just give me a minute. Give you a minute? Ah, you are a minute guy, okay. Because each time I ask you for something, you you you, you say give me a minute, okay. Yeah, you got you got the wrong. You want me to help you? I can find the verse in in, in two seconds if you want. Obviously, you do not know your book. I know your book. You want me to find it for you? Uh, I don't know the exact verse, but the Quran talks about the yeah, expansion but this, of the universe. Yeah, but this is not verse number forty-seven. This is verse number uh, forty-eight. This is verse number forty-seven. All right, now. Where it says Allah would expand the universe. Where it says that? Where it says any translation, any any Muslim says that this is an expand of the universe. Go ahead. In chapter fifty-one. Okay, I don't see I don't see anywhere Allah saying He would expand the universe. Can you show it to me? It says Allah He constructed the the heaven with with, with power and He will create more. Expand the universe. We, the verse reads like this: with power, mm -hmm. we did we construct the heaven. Okay, you know what? As, okay. as long, okay, as long you are, as long you are mentioning. Oh, listen, 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 listen. As long you mention this, by the way, in the Bible it says God, you know, the, uh, God expand the, the heaven like a curtain. So this is exist in the previous books before, but even this verse here doesn't say that. But as you, as long you mention this. Do you notice with me here the stupid mistake your prophet he just made? He just said, Allah he made the earth flat. And then he said, Allah he created from everything in two pairs, male and female. Is that correct? Is everything in this earth, male and female? Where, where in the Bible, Quran says, No problem, listen, my friend. In the Quran it says that, in the front of you, the verse in the front of you, it says, Allah he spread out the earth, he made it flat. Verse number 48. The same chapter you quote for me, actually you are the one who told me verse number 48, chapter 51, 48, chapter 48, it says Allah, he spread the earth, he made it flat. Yes, uh, let me check that verse. Huh? Uh, just let me check that verse. You want to check what? Let me check that verse, what, what you said. 
it says, well, Ardu farashna, we made it like a bed, and we make it, fani'amul ma'idu, you know, he's saying he is the best to make beds. <laughs> said that when a human being is on the earth everything is like that but no Allah is saying we made it this way we made it this way not how it appear for you don't don't fabricate things my friend it says and we have spread out the earth and we make it a flat this is this is the interpretation of these scholars the, exactly and this is the no this is the Quran this is not interpretation now I can show you the interpretation if you want which interpretation you want me to show you I'm just reading the Quran right now if you want I can show you interpretation Choose your uh, your interpretation, and I will uh, I will show you, my friend. What do you think? Give me a minute. I give you a minute. Okay. You can call a friend if you want. Do you have a sheikh in the in your town? Do you have a sheikh? You can call him to join us live on air. Can you call a sheikh? No, okay, my friend, there's an error in the Bible of Allah. Thank you very much. So you are saying to me now that Allah is in the Bible and the Bible of Allah is full of error. Okay, that's wonderful. Allah is the God of just error. Give, just, just give me a minute. So, 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 don't, don't, don't change topic, Abdul. Come on. You know, you know what? Your wife, she will divorce you now if you do that. She will say to you, you're not man enough to stand for this guy. You need to do something. Does it say, you said to me, I need one minute, and now you are coming to me. You keep repeating the Bible of error. The Bible. Finish this. The earth is a flat cow. And not only that, Allah is saying that He created from everything in pairs, male and female. Is that true? Where in, where is the verse? It's saying the same. Uh, we're reading verse number 47, 48, 49. The same, all this garbage in one page of your choice. I did not even look for it. It says Allah created everything in pairs, male and female. Is that true? What Allah meant was everything was made in neutrons protons oh this is about neutron and proton but they are not pairs those are not pairs yeah, guys this guys this is guys guys this is about a neutron and proton <laughs> listen because you're, you're, you're making things up what, what now proton and neutron they are pair since when And protons. No problem. Electron, 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 and the proton are the pairs. They are not. That is the most stupid statement ever I heard. Allah here talking about He created everything in pair. Everything. Okay, you know what? Let us go with you. He, you, you said electron and a neutron or proton. No problem. But He said everything. Do you agree with that? If you study science, you know that everything is made of atoms. Mm, but uh, Allah, He said, I created everything in pairs, everything. What, what He meant was everything that mm. is atoms is made of proton, el electrons and protons. And they are, and they are pairs? <laughs> they are inside an atom. But are, so are they are they are they pairs in number? Are they pairs in number? No, they are not. They are not equal numbers. So stop being stupid. Secondly, here the verse speaking about Allah creating everything like birds, human trees, everything. Correct? Excuse me. Excuse me. Allah here is speaking about how He created a human being, animals, everything. Correct? Everything, everything, it's everything. Yes. Okay. So now finally he agree. Okay, finally. So I want to ask you, is is the angels are male and female? They are all males. They are all males, so Allah did lie. You just said to me, you agree that Allah is speaking about everything male and female, and now we find that angels are only males. Uh, where, where does Allah say that everything is male and female? The verse in the front of you, and you agreed with me a second ago, you forgot what you said. I already told you that every, uh, what that verse 
thing was everything was made of protons and electrons. You are making things up. Secondly, I, the Quran says everything, everything. Okay, let me read. Okay, hold on, hold on. It, it, is the angels is, is the angels are made from proton and and and, and electron? Uh, a second ago, you know. Now you do not know. <laughs> I am. I am not. I am not a prophet. You are not. I'm surprised. I'm shocked. I thought you are a prophet. <laughs> okay. So this miracle you gave me, it, 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 it you know, it was like a, a, a false alarm. Give me a different miracle. Do you have a different one? Something more strong? Uh, in Quran. Uh huh. Chapter 23, verse 14, it talks about embryology. Ooh. Man, you did, you did hit me in the head. Chapter what? 23. Chapter 23, verse what? 14. 14, man. I, I, okay, I, I got to go now because I cannot continue with you. I, 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 better, I, I better leave, you know. Are you sure you want to talk about this verse? Source. Okay, so read the verse for us and let us laugh together. Remember, you are the one who chose it. There is nothing to laugh. We will see. Go ahead, read it for us. Okay. All right. Uh, then we made the nutfa into a cloth, a mm. piece of thick coagulated blood. Stop, 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 stop. In which science says to you that the nutfa, which is a drop of a sperm of semen, will become a blood? Which scientist he agree with that? Who is the scientist who says nutfa? Nutfa is a drop of a semen, not one semen, which means millions. So according to your God, the millions of 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 uh, 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 particles, which is semen in this case, they will become a thick dead blood. What kind of God he say that? Uh, I, I, if he allow me to speak, I will uh, show you. Show me. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hmm. What God meant was in the blood there are many cells like white blood, white blood cells red blood cells uh -huh. dna etc what uh -huh. uh, if you study science you know that the sperm is also a part of the it's a, also a part of these cells oh ah, okay but uh, do, so, do sperm have a blood inside do sperm have a blood do sperm do sperm have a blood inside them no uh, hmm. no but they have dna Okay, they have DNA, but read with me carefully. It says here, we made the nutfa into a clot. So there's nothing else except the blood. There's only blood, red blood, red cells and white cells. This is what the Quran is saying. So the first thing the sperm will be a blood. Is that accurate according to science? Uh, well, uh, well, it is not accurate as of now. Ah, it's not accurate as of now because science today is, is stupid. Tomorrow is going to be better, right? Uh, if, you, uh, if you allow me to speak, I will show you. I'm allowing you to speak. We are speaking, my friend. What's wrong with you? You just said it's not accurate. Quran is not accurate for now, but tomorrow is going to be better. So the, the scientists will discover those in the future, right? Hmm. Uh, what I meant was. Uh, the sperm can, contains DNA, which is uh, which is also a part of the blood. Hmm. Let, let, so let, this is let what me, God let, meant. Let, let me, this let, is what God meant. Okay, huh? this is what God meant. Yeah, you know what God meant. Okay. What is your education? Hello? Yeah, hello. What is your education, if you don't mind to tell me? Degree. What, what? Uh, graduation. What is your education? Do you have any, do you study in school, what you did? I'm in college. You are in college, you know, better than me. Always I wanted to go to college, but you know, they, they kicked me out. Because they said, you cannot come with the college to the college with your, uh, you know, like uh, Quran, you know, they said, they claim I'm a terrorist or something. So listen, the Quran says it clearly that the nutfa, which is millions of sperm, will turn into dead blood. Since when the baby is coming from dead blood? If you, if you, if 
he is studying gynecology. Hmm. I'm not a gynecologist, but if he's oh yeah, my friend, my friend, listen, I have. You said I. You see, uh, let me let, let me explain to you. When I was studying farming in the farming school, I studied bi uh, uh, biology because we have to study biology in order to study geology. You know. And then when we study the biology, because in order to go to, to see how the mountains are made, because we found inside the mountains some sperm, you know, and we want to find out like the biology of the sperm of the mountains, where they are coming from. Do you know that your God, Allah, he said he will rain, rain on the people like sperm. And this is how he raised mankind. What kind of God this God is? Where does he say that? I, I know this is in Arabic. Do you know Arabic? It's hard for you to know now. Hmm. How Allah will Allah, Allah how Allah will raise the human being when he is dead? What? How Allah will raise the human being from the death? Uh, the, uh, only God knows. What do you mean, Allah? You mean only Allah knows? Don't say God. You Muslim don't believe in God, you believe in Allah. Allah and God are the same. Okay, uh, it's the same. It, 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 it is not like your own Trinity where there is Father, Son, Holy Spirit, three in one. Allah don't have, Allah is not three in one? Allah is only one. Okay, hold on. Allah is one what? One person. Allah is a person? No. Yes. Okay. In the Quran, Allah He said, if we want to take a partner, we will take it from ourselves. So how he is only one person, but he will take a partner from himself. Uh, you see in the Arabic language mm -hmm. uh, uh, they always refer to they always Prefer in the plural sense because of respect. Ah, in Arabic language, he's going to speak Arabic, but okay, copy paste. But listen, here he's talking about taking a wife. He's talking about taking a wife. How he will take a wife? Okay, so Allah is one, but Allah will take a wife from Himself, so Allah will sleep with Himself. Where, where does Allah say He will take a wife? Chapter twenty-one, verse number seventeen. What do you think? Chapter 21 was 17. 17. Read it, go ahead. 16 to 70. We created not the heavens and the earth and all that is between them for a mere play. Had we intended, had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, we could surely have taken it from us if we were going to do that. Hmm. So, if Allah want to take a wife or a son, He will take it from ourselves. Who, who is ourself? Allah will take a son from ourself. I already told you that in the Arabic language, they always use uh, plural sense. My friend, my friend, we got that, we got that, we got it, we got it. First, you don't speak about Arabic language, you don't speak Arabic. Secondly, he's talking about taking a partner. So how he say he will take a partner from ourself, plural war language, stop being stupid. He's talking about taking a wife. So Allah will marry himself. He's talking about himself now. Mute YouTube, mute it. This is, this is according to Sheikh Ahmad Didat. Ahmad Didat is a Sheikh, he's Ahmadiyya. Ahmad Didat is Ahmadiyya, he's not a Sheikh. 
Ahmed Didat even don't speak Arabic. Ahmed Didat don't even speak Arabic, which means he cannot even read the Quran. How he can be a sheikh? You don't, you don't need to know Arabic to become a Muslim. Uh, exactly. So you can stop stu stay stupid, so they can lie to you. So how, sheikh, how Ahmed Didat became a sheikh if he cannot read the Quran? Look, uh, um, Listen, Abdul, don't, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. It says here, if we want to take a wife, we will take it from ourselves. Who is us? He's talking about a different person. He will take a wife or son. Just go. I don't have time for stupidity. <laughs> Look what he's saying to me. CP is a coward and gay like Jesus. This is the same guy. You believe it? If I say this, I did not see about uh, what he said about Jesus. Filthy coward son of Muta. The gay is your prophet who used to wear his wife's clothes. The one who kissed men and men kiss him down his belly. Do you see? They say they respect Jesus. Okay, you are angry from me. And you must have claim that you believe Jesus is a prophet. So how you call Jesus gay? This is, you see how filthy their hate? Their hate is amazing. Let me show you who is the gay. And I challenge you to tell me that your prophet is not one of those gays. A man and a Muhammad, they are playing together, lifting the t-shirt of each other, and they are kissing each other Billy. Have you ever heard of a man respect himself? He kiss the Billy, down the Billy, down his, down his Billy, which means to the private part. If I see from the beginning that you call Jesus gay, I will not even let you talk to me, you filthy coward. Muhammad, he came to a guy and he left up his shirt and he started playing with him. What kind of a behavior this behavior is? This is a prophet of God? He left the t-shirt of a man with a stick. Why you do that? And then he said, let me. Let me take retaliation. Who? The guy who Muhammad left up his shirt. He said, take retaliation, Muhammad answering. He said, you are wearing a, t a shirt, but I am not. And then the prophet, he raised his shirt. He did what? He raised his shirt. He got naked. And then the man embraced him and began to kiss his side. Where? The coward in the translation, they don't say the truth. It is not his side. It is kashahu, which means downside his belly. Down. Have you ever heard of a man kissing a man in such an area? And why a man will kiss a man anyway? Like I understand the Middle East, like they have a you know tradition, like you know, and like in Kuwait or some areas, you know, they touch the nose to the nose. Some areas in the Middle East, men they kiss like for friendly, but not kiss in the mouth, like in the cheek which is weird right but here you see prophet muhammad is doing that hello hello yes mr hamza <laughs> i just wanted to ask you about one uh, verse please can you please just explain it uh, it's about um uh surat al I don't know the name, but it's as samau banaynaha bi aidin wa inna la musi'oon. You wanted to talk about it, but you did not have the chance. Sure, go ahead. What do you want to say? Yeah, you just talk about it. Can you please talk about it? Can you just tell no us? No problem. Uh, Hamza, let me, let, me, let me remember. Are you the one who left Islam before or you are not? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, okay. let's because... just not mention names. All right. No problem. I did already. Yeah, really, but uh, really. I, I, uh, someone is watching with me and uh, she just want to uh, listen to what you want to say about this. All right, no problem. If you see... Thank you very much. Yeah? All right. All right. If, if you look at the verses, you will see nowhere it says what the Muslim they claim, that Allah extend the heaven. The, 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 the Muslim, they start fabricating things about the verse, saying Allah will extend the heaven. But the fact says, uh, 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 Okay, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to close the call. Yeah, no problem. To listen to you okay. only from YouTube. All right, no problem. All right. 
if you go and read all the Islamic interpretation, it says that Allah have all the power to do and create more. Nowhere it says Allah will expand the heaven or the universe. But today, the Muslim, they try to make it because some scientists, they say something, so they try to make it fit with it. But if you go and we change all Islamic translation or all Islamic interpretation, you will not find such a thing as exists. So, and then you need to ask yourself, if the verse is saying that, why the Muslims, scholars, they don't accept and they don't say it says that? Why, I mean, why a Muslim, he will try to hide such a thing? And I'm talking about scholars, not YouTubers. Not a bunch of kids trying to make a statement. Fabrication today. If we go and read all the scholars, you will see not a single one of them, he don't agree, that Allah is saying, and he can do more. Secondly, here there's a mistake. How Allah, he built the sky, he built it with his two hands. Why you build the sky with two hands is if the sky, the major space of it is empty. What the hands for? The Muslim, they say to us, if Allah, he want to say, to do something, he say, be is going to be. Correct? Actually, I saw it in one of the articles here. Let me see if I can find it. Maybe in this... Uh, or maybe this one. Here we go. The beginning. Kun fayakun. The Quran says, be and then so it is. Chapter 2, verse 117. But the Muslim, they cut the verse off so they will not show you that Allah, he was talking about how he made Adam. If Allah, he created the heaven and the earth, and this is how he created everything by be and it was, then everything in the Quran is a lie. Because as you see, the verse saying, Allah, he built the sky with his two hands. And here, in the translation, the word hands disappear. Change the translator. Why the hand disappear? Because it's not fit for Allah to say so. The liars have to hide it. Let us go. This is Hilali and Khan, and we will go to Big Tab. Big tile says with might, but in Arabic it doesn't say with it doesn't say that. It says by hands. Let us go. Different translation. I will try all of them one by one. With power. What is the word hands? Until now we fail to find one translation telling the truth. Shakir. Power. Who is this guy? Kadi something? With might. I mean, all of them, they are saying the same. But the Arabic says, we build the sky with hands. And that is getting Allah busted because he did not build it with saying B. He built it by hands. Let us continue. Maybe we can find one of them. He have decency to translate correctly. Maybe. Here we go. Look. We built the universe with a great might. What is the word hands? It's gone. Until now, not a single trans. Let us continue. Eitani. With power, there's no hands. Uh, Darabadi, whatever his name. Same. It disappeared. Why they don't show the word hand? because the word hand will make a problem. You can take right now the word be'aid, be'aiden, and post it in Google translation, and you will find that this, this word mean hands. If we go and read the interpretation for the verse, chapter 51, verse number 47. Here they are saying we build the we build it with might indeed we are powerful. The word hand disappeared too in the translation. We build it with might and the word hand disappear. No hands. If we go to the Arabic, we will find a different story. Actually, there's a video. If you search right now for videos where uh, uh, it says Allah have hands. 
You know what? Give me a second. There's a guy, his name is Fifi. You remember Fifi? Okay. Fifi, he made a video. He was debating somebody. And he was reading, I think, the same verse. Let me see. Here we go. This is the video of Fifi. Let us play it. And Fifi was explaining to a Muslim Shia, you cannot call us kuffar because we Muslim Sunni believe Allah have hands. And then you need to ask yourself, how in the world in the translation, we cannot find the word hands. He is quoting a different verse actually here. Let us see. About this, um, we were speaking about metaphorical verses. Are they for what they say? Rather, both his hands are extended. Okay. Now, what's interesting about this, um, we were speaking about metaphorical verses. Um, you know, um, apparent or uh, um, wh what was the word? Or literal. Now, the term uh, Yadahu, again, what do, what do the Jews say? They say the hand of Allah, all right? The Allah hand Allah of Allah. 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 Specifically, they say the hand of Allah is chained. Allah responds, no, both his hands are extended. Both, both. What does this mean? Now, here's the issue, Yashie. If you don't want to accept this, that's fine. If you don't want to accept this, that that you know that Allah has two hands, I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's completely fine, but I'm saying you can't accuse us of shirk. You can't accuse us of shirk for following the Quran. <laughs> so you see, the Muslim admit, the, uh, this, is the, this is the Muslims who hate me to death. Allah has two hands. In the translation, we failed to find one translation saying Allah have hands. It's gone. Why? Because that will be a problem. Allah, he built the sky with his two hands. But the Quran says, Allah, he built, he made everything. If he wants something to happen, he say, be is going to be. But Allah, he used his two hands. Number two. If we read all the Islamic translations for the thing, we will not find where Allah He will expand the universe. This is Ibn Abbas. We can go to Arabic. We can go to all the scholars. Not a single one. Choose any. Look how many. Look, look, look how many. Look. I, you know, there's thousands of them. None of them saying what they claim. So why they lie? Why they lie? In which language Allah expand the universe? Nowhere. So when they say something about the heaven is extended or Allah will expand it, that is a fabrication cannot be found anywhere. And as long as we are talking about this, you know, do you, don't you think Allah, he knew how the heaven is made? Let us read together. Because the one who made the heaven, he knew how the heaven is made. If you go in the Quran, and we can actually use the same chapter we are reading here. In order for the heaven to be structures, according to the Quran, it have to be in the same size of the earth. How we knew that? We go to different verse. The chair of Allah is the size, the same size of the earth and the heaven. That means the earth and the heaven are equal in size. All right. 
chapter 2 verse number 255 two, uh, two, five. his kursi the translation he says a throne but doesn't say throne really it says a chair his, 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 his chair extend over the heaven and earth fast translation in Arabic it says the exact size of the earth and the heaven so the earth have a shape the sky in the top of the shape of the earth exactly the same size and then Allah chair is in exactly the same size of the earth and the heaven if you go in the hadith you will find that Allah he come down every third part of the night to ask who is praying to me how that can be unless the earth is always under the sky of Allah and under the chair of Allah is he traveling from out of the space which mean uh, let us say let us make some drawing here let us say this is the earth but hold on we need to make a different pen so let us say this is the earth the chair of Allah always is above the earth as the Quran says we saw samawati wal ard so when Allah he come down he come down always down that's why the hadith saying he come down descent he don't go 45 degree he don't go from down up he go always down and this is what the hadith is saying read it he descend okay he descend where to the lowest heaven on the third part of the night okay which third part of the night so the one who made the heaven he do not know how the heaven function he think always the heaven in the top of the earth that's why he always descend and we showed you the verse saying that the chair of Allah is the same size of the heaven and the earth. This is why Allah do not need to go left and right to go down. He is always in the top of the earth. He just go down, straight down. But this is a very stupid statement because the earth is not a flat and we don't have the third part of the night in one place. Every hour or two hours we have third part of the night. That's mean Allah became like a yo-yo. He keep coming up and down, up and down. But obviously Muhammad, he don't mean that. He is saying that Allah, he come down once. In the third part of the night. Showing his ignorance about how the heaven and how the earth function. And to make it more clear, the one who created the heaven, and the Muslim, they say he is trying to, they're trying to say that he expanded the universe. Don't Allah knew how the sun function? As an example, the God of the Quran says that there is two east and two west. Open any interpretation, you will find that the Muslims explain to you saying that there is east of the winter and east of the summer. But this is how this has became two east. And how this has became two west. The foolish Muhammad, he thought that this is different sun. There is sun in the winter and there is sun in the summer. So there is two east and two west. And then he continued with his stupidity. Read with me carefully. He merged the two seas together and between them there's a barrier they will never overrun the Muslim they say this is about the fresh water and the salty water they don't mix which is stupid to say because the fresh water and salty water they mix the Quran is clear they will never they will never this is not what science says the Muslim they show you uh, uh, like Delta a river and come into the ocean and the color of the two of them and they say see they are not mixing the fact they are mixing every second but because we have a current, so it takes time. You can go right now and get some salty water in a cup and fresh water in a cup and put them in one container to see if they mix or not. But what the Quran here is saying, showing the stupidity of the author of the Quran, that the salty water and the fresh water, they never mix. How we can explain that? 
Let us see. Read with me. <clears throat> Chapter 25, verse number 53. And it is he who let forth the two seas, but this is a false statement too. The fresh water is not a sea. This one is sweet, grateful to taste, and this, and, and this one is salty, bitter to the tongue. And he sit between them a barrier, and the ban forbidden. According to the author of the Quran, who you Muslim claim that he expands the universe, he thinks the salty water and the fresh water, they are two different waters, two different seas, and they never mix. He put between them a barrier. That is the most stupid statement ever. Because all of us, we knew the cycle of the, of the rain, how the water of the ocean vibrate with the heat, became a cloud, the air or the wind pushed the cloud over the land, and then when, the, when it's time, you know, this cloud meet another temperature cloud or air, then the rain happen. According to the Quran, no. There's two water, two seas of water. One is a fresh and one is salty and Allah, he made a barrier. And here you see the, the, the other uh, uh, deception of Muhammadan. When they say that the barrier here is what they claim that because of the... Uh, the, the the nature of the salty water and the fresh water this is why I make it hard for them to mix that's false the barrier here is the word used is barzakhan wa hajaran wa hijran mahjura the word barzakh mean a piece of land which is hard hard land if you don't believe me I can go right now to Ibn Kathir chapter 25 verse number 53 And now they will say Ibn Kathir is a liar. Just wait. I will not be surprised if they say Ibn Kathir is not a Muslim. All right? Here we go. This is the interpretation of Ibn Kathir in front of you. It is he who set, the, uh, set the free the two seas. One is palatable and, and the other one is sweet, salty and bitter. Mean he created two kinds of water, sweet and salty. The sweet water is like the rivers, spring, wells, and fresh, sweet, and then portable water, pl plotable water. This is the view of Jurair, etc. And then he continued. You know, it's, it's very salty, etc. And then he continues saying. And he set a barrier, complete partition between them, complete partition between them. They will never meet. They don't meet. Not in the video they show you two waters they never meet meaning between the salty the sweet and the water and the salt water a barrier it is a, a, a partition which is a dry land let me zoom in and here you see another lie the Mohammedan they post about scientific miracle how many of you saw this video on YouTube millions of people they view Allahu Akbar the Quran says something but the Quran saying something stupid about Salty water and fresh water, they are two body of water, two seas of water, they never mix. And then Ibn Kathir continue, where, where Ibn Kathir is getting that this is a dry land, because the word here is hijran mahjura. And the word barzakh. Go right now to the dictionary, you see that the barzakh is a land between two body of water. Right now, you can go, go right now, and you will see what Barzakh mean. And Ibn Kathir, for sure, he speaks good Arabic, right? Same as Al-Qurtubi, al tabari al all of them, they agree. And then he continues, he says, It's a complete partition, meaning a barrier, prevent them from reaching each other. They never reach each other. So, what kind of God you do not know? that salty water and fresh water are the same water.
You know what I mean? The God of Islam even don't remember which one he created first. If we ask a Muslim, Arnold, are you a Muslim? Arnold, are you a Muslim? The one who's saying, open sky for me. We take all the Muslim calls. If you are a Muslim, then we will take your call. Hello? Uh, hello? You are a pain just like Jesus. What? <laughs> Stupid. You are a coward even to say two words to me. This is how coward you are. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Anyone? No? Uh, Arnold, I don't own any website, my friend. All my website are not, I don't have any website. Somebody owned them. Any Muslim? No? As you see, all of this is garbage. So what is mistake in the Quran, the Muslim, they try to make it science. Everything, everything is the opposite. Do we have any Muslim when I call us? Anyone? <clears throat> hmm. Nine hundred fifty people watching. Not even a single Muslim can explain to us how Allah got it wrong all the way. What do you think? We have Abbas here. What is our topic will be for tomorrow? What do you think? What we should talk about? All right, I will leave it for you.
leave your comment and uh, for how long now we are on air uh, we started you see I keep saying to myself I need to make my videos shorter and look how short it is unbelievable that's very short Hadith Qudsi we will see last call any Muslim would like to call us Nidi Nidi last call anyone all right so as you see what they claim it is a book of science it is the opposite and every statement actually they mention about science is the opposite every single one of them and here you need to ask yourself how somebody is a believer yet he is a liar and why he do that what kind of religion will make you lie to make your religion confirm to be true you can confirm a true religion by a lie that can't be true it must be that both of them are lies to the point we need a lie to make the lie believed on all right now take to your attention like usually I'm coming like live on air uh, in the in the morning time here so uh, always tune in to this channel or to Arabian Prophet mostly here for now we are here and check it in the morning even if you don't see any notification or something because sometimes YouTube does not give you any notification all right variation in the Quran Arabic breakdown you see I don't really do pro uh, uh, videos about those different Quran because who care I mean the Quran is different or not the Quran is stupid as you see so I focus always in what is important they believe this is the Quran hit the head of the snake you know what I mean? Hit the head of the snake. Don't waste your time. I don't share my email. Sorry. Anyway, guys, I think it's time for us to go. We are here for long. And uh, it's already here past long time. The, the uh, I'm going to go to, uh, I will try to change my internet company because this internet company here is horrible. I will try to change my uh, but the, the problem they will make me pay penalty for switching my internet because we have a contract but their internet is horrible I keep losing my connection go up go down very horrible so I will try to make it happen as soon as possible so we can get better internet I want to say thank you guys for being here leave your comment about topic we like me to talk about and we go from there and again, we say to Muslims, uh, good luck with your cult and lies will not make it good, will not make it true, will not make it accurate, will make it stupid. As simple as that. Thank you. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.